Hi friends, Satisha here. For today's video, I would like to vlog about a process to crochet a pair of dragonfly stitch pants. This is actually my very first time crocheting a pen and this is my first time joining a pattern testing. So what is pattern testing all about? Before she would like to publish a paid version of pattern, they will call upon uh, any crochet out there to test her pattern so that uh, she can get a lot of information whether the crochet understand uh, the step-by-step -step written in the pattern she could publish the patterns out there she might want to do some amendments according to the feedbacks of the pattern tester what will i get when i volunteer myself to test the pattern obviously i will get the pattern for free I think what's more important is I get the new network of uh, crochet friends online uh, so that we know each other and we can exchange ideas about colors, about how we read the pattern. So by the time I'm recording this, I actually have crochet um, the first 12, 11 to 12 rows of pants uh, from the pinggang. What is pinggang in English? from the waist down to the hip so this is basically the dragonfly so I am think I'm going to wear this with a legging I'm using the medium size yarn as per instructed and as a pattern tester uh, it is my responsibility to keep um, to keep counting how much I using the yarn and then I'm going to going to report to her what's going on so by the time I'm crocheting this I almost finish a ball of yarn a ball of 200 gram yarn where is a ball of 200 gram yarn so this yarn I bought from the spotlight store uh, I think that store is located in Selangor um, of course grey grey for life because it suits uh, both of the uh, most of my clothing in the wardrobe okay so i'm going to show you the not the step by step because this, this is the big bad, bad version but basically the journey um how i completed this um according to the pattern owner i need to finish this before the 31st december but now it's 19 december at 10 26 pm so I don't know what happened to my friends, the other pattern tester, because they are busy um, preparing for Christmas holiday. They still have a lot of work to do. They have a lot of things to crochet prior to the Christmas holiday. So I'm hoping that they are doing well. <laughs> so okay, I want to continue the the process. I think I'm I'm going to split. The, uh, I'm at the stitch where I have to split two leggings, two, two legs, I think. Oh, by the way, I will let you know when she gonna publish the uh, pattern for sale. And I'm going to let you, you know in the comment below. This pattern is belong to Sarah from Totally Stitch Craft. She designs a lot of cool crochet wear and her work is so awesome. You guys should check her work out on her website totallystitchcraft.com and her Instagram totallystitchcraft. I provide her website link and Instagram in the description below. Hey guys, so by the time I'm recording this, it's 20th of December at 10.50pm. I actually just come back from the theatre room uh, watching Wakanda movies. And I actually have started the second ball of yarn. Uh, while I'm watching the movie, I spend my time crocheting, of course. Um, there's no people in the theater room, so I just switch on the light while watching the movie. And I got this. So I have started to work on the uh, half side of the legging. According to the origin pattern, the dragonfly, uh, the dragonfly pattern here, you can see here like this one, this one, um, this 
pattern um, should be located at the side of the pant but however i came to an idea uh, like why not the dragonfly pattern is located at the front and back so i decided to incorporate the dragonfly pattern uh, the same the very same pattern uh, dragonfly pattern at the front side and at the back side so in total in one row i have three dragonfly pattern let me show you one two and three so it's deviate a bit from the original pattern but i think it's cool to have um the pattern at the front and at the back so that's all update for today hey guys it's 25th of december today uh, i think it's approximately at 2 pm if i'm not mistaken or it's almost 2 30 pm actually i still working um one legging not yet approaching to the second legging yet but um, the difference is, is my first leg is already getting longer so what i need to do is keep crocheting before the deadline <laughs> I just finished crochet the first side of the leg and I finished the row with the shell pattern the shell pattern so over here I have um, let me count the row first one two a few moments later in total I have 55 rows now I'm going to start with the other side of the pant using the other half of the yarn and then we proceed to the fourth and fifth ball of yarn. Hi guys, so today is 30th of December. I think it's about 10 20 pm. It's almost New Year's, guys. So, what's your resolution? Anyway, I just started my fifth ball of yarn. I have a total of six ball of yarn. So, hopefully, I can finish the pants within that amount of yarn. Okay, so this is what I get. Um, I almost at the finish line. Ta-da! So this is um, where the last stitches I was. And this is the finished part. Look at that. I currently in, <laughs> in love with these uh, stitches. It's cute, simple. And I think it can um, apply to not only at pants, but if I want to make a bag with this type of stitches then i can do it after i have finished this leg part i have to i think i have to crochet something uh, for the waist um, because for this pen it has no kind of like zip or buttons or bands to be insert at the waist part that's all that's all my update for today Hi guys, a quick update for today. Today is 8 January 2023 and I'm happy to announce that I have finished working the pants. And what's only left is the waist tie. Um, until now, I used up to 5th ball of yarn and it has the leftover. And if you are wondering what happened to the waist, so basically the waist has the rib stitch. So this looks like rib ribs. This pattern doesn't require a waistband or any kind of buttons uh, to suit the waist at your waist instead uh, we are required to do a waist tie so originally the waist tie is supposed to be changed along the way but i chose to modify the waist tie uh, so i chose to make a romanian cord instead of just chains so that i'm hoping that this is much more stronger compared to the chains so what I'm doing here is uh, actually I'm inserting the uh, Romanian cord waist tie inside the loop that I have made here. This loop is including the including in the pattern. So I'm gonna wear this and update how does it look when I'm wearing this pen. So this is how it looks like when I'm wearing the pen. 
This is definitely the most fluffiest, coziest and heaviest pants that I ever have. I want to thank Sarah from Totally Stagecraft for choosing me to do this pattern. And that my friend, that's the end of my first pattern testing journey. Thanks for watching and see you at the next project.